So we got our pinhole here. It's a little disc of aluminum with a tiny brass shim in the middle. And right there in the very, very middle is a laser drilled pinhole. That guy right there, the tiniest dot. And that's what we're going to put in front of our smartphone camera lens. We're also going to need some electrical tape, any kind of tape, but electrical tape is ideal because it's cheap, which means we also need scissors. So we're going to use these little Leatherman scissors on my multi-tool here. And we're going to cut off a section of tape, maybe, uh, I don't know, a couple finger lengths worth, maybe two inches if you're in America. And now we're going to cut out the middle of the tape so that our pinhole can see through it. And we're going to leave a little extra to the side of that cutout so that the flashlight and the microphone hole on your smartphone will also not be covered up by the tape. Sometimes they're very close to the lens. So what you got here is I'm holding, you see, the, the non-sticky side so that I can interact with it. And I'm going to put the pinhole, I'm going to pick up the pinhole, very small, very, very difficult to pick up off the table. Put that right on the sticky side of the tape, put it there lightly, and then flip it over to make sure it's not covering. You don't want the tape to cover up the pinhole, you want the tape to cover up the disc that is holding the pinhole. So once you have that, you're going to go ahead and look through your smartphone or your tablet. Your, your camera app should be open and on. You want to see what the camera sees as you put the pinhole over your camera's lens. Eventually, you're going to start to see an image. Like right now, I can already start to see the Leatherman tool underneath. And that means we're obviously seeing through the pinhole because we just covered up every other piece of the lens except for the tiny bit that can see through the pinhole. So that's basically giving this camera, if you're a photographer, a very, very small aperture, f-stop. It's a tiny hole, basically. Now we look at the thing that we originally saw before we have the pinhole, and here it is without the pinhole. This is the image we saw before, the electrical tape on its own. And now let's look at them side by side. On the left is the pinhole, on the right is the non-pinhole. The image on the right, the non-pinhole image, definitely looks sharper, just because technically it's been focused. It's had lenses change the path of the light to be better uh, for the photo. The image on the left, the pinhole photo, has basically everything, no matter what focal plane it exists on, everything is equally in focus. That doesn't mean everything is equally sharp, it just means that if you bring something closer to the camera, it has a better chance of being as focused as the background, which is not true with a lensed photo. So now with a pinhole, we've gotten the ability to bring objects very close to camera, like this electrical tape, and we can still see details in the foreground as well as in the background. The, the little thing in the top left corner with the gray, those are scratches on a table. You can see that just as clearly as foreground stuff on the tape roll. So let's look at some other stuff. Uh, we got, this is the best thing right here. It's whatever's in front of us, a pencil sharpener. So I'm going to bring this close. Keep an eye on the pencil on the right. It will not get any less focused, even though I'm bringing this pencil sharpener very close to the lens. Normally, the camera would have to pick something to focus on. It should either pick the screw on the left of the pencil sharpener, or it should pick the pencil in the background. And it, it doesn't have to choose anymore because everything is now equally unsharp. That's, that's what it's called when a pinhole focuses. It is equally unsharp. And you can please research this all you want on the internet. Pinhole photography is fun as heck. Now we're going to pick up the pencil, see what it looks like close up. It's fun to play with uh, perspective and depth with a pinhole because since the viewer no longer has focus to cue them in to distance, you know, normally if you see something close up on a movie, the background is out of focus. We've learned that a out of focus background means maybe the subject is close to the camera. We don't need to know that consciously to know that that's just the way it works. With a pinhole and everything is unsharp equally, I can bring something right up to the front of the camera and have the thing in the background also be in focus. And that's pretty cool. So we can see all this beautiful wood pulp on these pencils that we use maybe, maybe every day. Maybe we don't use pencils every day anymore. Not if we're watching this on the internet and I shot it with my phone. But look at the eraser. It's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever looked before at the texture of an eraser or I don't even know if I could have seen this with my own eye, I, I definitely cannot focus on something that close with my own eye. So it's a whole new world with the pinhole in front of a smartphone. Studying things you thought were very mundane, like even a, a sticker, that you get to see the way it was printed 
you can see that that effect that they do to produce colors I think they call it halftone effect um, it's just tiny dots that actually make up colors when they're printed and this is something that you can see with your smartphone it's almost like having a, a microscope in your pocket it's not technically the same thing but it, it does give you different abilities that you otherwise wouldn't have with with just the unaided eye or even just the unaided smartphone like taking a look at the shirt that I'm wearing it's you know it looks green from a distance but when you get close you can actually see it's a a woven pattern of diagonal blue and green maybe it's purple and green I don't know um, they look great together and there's just all this beautiful texture that you otherwise never get to observe as a human because we're not typically looking at our friends' clothes from six millimeters away. That would be rude. I'm going to get a little bit closer on my shirt again because it's worth seeing. I'm going to just push it basically right up to this part. Here we go. And that's my skin, so that's, that's cool. You can see hair follicles. That's pretty cool. All my, my secret arm hair that I always forget I have. Um, beautiful threads on the shirt. And then just for scale, pull them back so you can see. You know, it, it, wide shots kind of don't have the same level of detail, but close-ups absolutely do with a pinhole. This is the, the pants I'm wearing. Um, for scale, here is a pencil tip. Same pencil tip you saw before. And I hope that you are able to enjoy all the things I enjoyed just now and so many more with your own pinhole smartphone.